Angelica, I don't know what you're up to, but you better come clean with me or I'm going to blow this whole deal right out of the water. All right. You know that Jack is not Dimitri's son. I had hoped that you wouldn't find this out, but since you did, the, I have no choice than to tell you the real truth. Which you want me to believe, of course. Which you must believe, and which you will after you've heard it. I have told you that Dimitri is very ill. He's dying. What I did not tell you is that there are rumors to that effect circulating in the European oil community for months. Yeah, go on. Those rumors are making people very nervous. There are some people who believe that without Dimitri, there is no mariner shipping. The company is on the verge of a collapse if I cannot find a way to stop those rumors. And I take it Ewing Oil is part of that plan. Also, my cousin Jack. Well, you've seen pictures of Dimitri. You've seen pictures of Jack. There's enough of a resemblance between the two to be father and son. You want Jack to impersonate Dimitri? That's it, isn't it? Yes. Do you really expect to get away with this? It has all been very carefully planned. At the meeting in Martinique at the end of the next month, we will show Jack to the world as Dimitri Marinos. His appearance will be very carefully orchestrated. He will spend the entire conference on our yacht, surrounded by our people, and away from any direct contact with the press. That does not mean, however, that a paparazzo with long lens won't be able to get pictures. Pictures that will end up in publications all over the world. Pictures that will confirm that Dimitri is alive and well. So you won't have Jack meeting anybody face to face. How long do you think you're going to get away with this little charade? Well, just long enough for us to get our business matters in order, to prepare for Dimitri's death. Why didn't you go straight to Jack? What if Jack said no? I couldn't take that chance. Besides, J.R., you can handle him. And what about our deal? It was a way in the beginning to reach you both. But it was always intended to be solid and lucrative, and it is. Mm. J.R., will you go along with us? <laughs> yes, yes, I will, on one condition. Instead of the 50-50 split between Ewing and Marinos, I want an additional 20% from your share to go directly into my Swiss bank account, and not to Ewing Oil, where I have to share the profits. But, J.R., that leaves me only with 30%. Yeah, that's right. Well, 30% of something is a hell of a lot better than 50% of nothing, isn't it? I don't suppose that leaves me much choice, does it? No, I don't suppose it does. Ladies, I have the revised pages sent over just as soon as I can. And Angelica, you better be telling the truth this time, darling, because I don't forgive all that easily. And I never, ever forget. He took it better than I thought he would. Yeah. I wonder how well he would take it if he knew the rest of the story. Grace, I think it's time we hedged our bets against J.R. Ewing. Why don't you give Jack a call 